Our maiden drilling campaign from the very first one in the Kabora Basin Basin, Makuyu one, has been a tremendous success, proving a working hydrocarbon system within the basin from the very first well that's been drilled, a virtually unprecedented result. The upper Angwa, our primary target, contained 11 prospective hydrocarbon zones with uh, a total of 225 metres of gross potential identified and interpreted from Wailine Log. The results from Akuyu 1, proving a working hydrocarbon system in the Kabora Basin Basin, have reduced the historically high risks of the presence of seal and source rock, which have been found in abundance in Makuyu 1, and this upgrades our remaining prospect and lead portfolio in the Kabora Basin Basin. Significantly, during the drilling of Makuyu 1, we did not encounter the base of the upper Angwa, our primary target, as it was thicker than originally prognosed, and the lower Angwa, also a target for Makuyu 1, was not penetrated. In addition, there remains 300 metres of untested potential as we drilled down dip on the southern flank of Makuyu. So there remains a huge amount of upside still to come and we will plan this in our phase two appraisal campaign. Due to the tremendous results we've had from Makuyu 1, Invictus quickly moved to secure Rig 202 and made an agreement with Exalo to keep it warm stacked at the Makuyu 1 location. This has a number of advantages for the company, uh, primarily uh, keeping the rig on site, which will speed up uh, our phase two appraisal uh, commencement, as well as providing us cost savings and synergies from not having to demobilize and remobilize the rig back to the project. Invictus has commenced the planning for phase two of our appraisal campaign for Makuyu and assessing a range of well locations for a Makuyu 2 follow-up well. Baobab 1 and other basin margin prospects are also in consideration for an upcoming drilling campaign. And so we have a very exciting period ahead of us uh, and an action-filled 2023.